Drakkar Intense and some other beast mode cheapies. Don't get confused, this is Drakkar Noir 1982. It has nothing to do with Drakkar Intense. Drakkar actually came out in 1972, then 10 years later they made this Noir, Drakkar Noir, and now 50 years later they made Drakkar Intense. Maybe next year they'll make Drakkar Noir Intense, just so you get that out of your head. It's a different fragrance. They kind of smell alike, but not that much. This fragrance, more to my nose, smells sort of-ish, sprinkly-ish, like Bentley Intense. The fragrance opens up with wormwood. What is wormwood? It's kind of like a bitter green wood note that kind of resembles pininess and it has this a nice note in it. I can detect a nice in this situation is like the spirit, like the liqueur a nice. So it has this almost like a rum licorice note. Alongside that when it dries down it reminds me of an old school 80s gumdrop, those little white ones that were sugary. So it does dry down sweet. It has two forms of lavender, mid and lower in it. So you got that soft floral note sweetening it up. Basically, you're left with a wooded liquor, liqueur, kind of rummy, sugary wood note. It's quite pleasant, quite unique, and extremely long lasting. It's an eau de parfum. It came in this box like this. There's the batch codes. It has a sprayer right here. It comes out like that. Nice opening with that lot, lot of green and herb and aromatic openings. There's some coriander in here, some other notes in there, juniper berries. And they also make a tester, which was $10 cheaper than this. Not a bad fragrance to start off the year 2022. The thing lasted on my hand 15 hours, but that was a skin scent after about eight hours. It has most of its performance in the first seven hours. Next fragrance we have is Cool Water Intense. What a cool kick-ass fragrance. It has green mandarin. Does nothing to do with cool water either. This is the intense version. This green mandarin is like a cold pressed, if you took the peel of a green citrus and squeezed out the oil, you will get like a bitter neroli, slightly sweet juice out of it. It also has coconut nectar. What's coconut nectar? Coconut nectar is kind of like coconut with vetiver, so it's tropical, a little bit green, a little bit woody, and it also has a note of ambrosia, which is a powerful fragrance that makes it last long, and ambrosia can also smell sweet. And when you spray this, I get hints of Dolce Gabbana Forever because of that green, green mandarin, but really, it's got a lot of synthetically done, well done natural. So it's, it's synthetic, but the synthetics are so well done, it smells organic and natural as if. And it's, I think this is a great fragrance and it lasts a nice long time. A uh, Rambi Fitch Authentic Night. Beautiful fragrance, it's a Fougere Oriental. It dries down to an apple smoked wood. That apple note's delicious. Another fragrance with apple is Tommy Hill Figure Impact. This thing here comes off and you could take it apart. It's a little travel sprayer. This has a, another synthetic note that they invented called Aura Pour. It's kind of like Akagala wood or oud. So you got a mass appealing freshy. You see the color mixed with a touch of dab of oud in there somehow and it's very unique. I think it's one of the best that he's ever made. If you can find this Tommy Hilfiger Impact, nab it. And for a bonus today, don't forget I found this one. It's called Misoni, but it's called Misoni Wave. It came out a couple years ago. Very blue, fresh, aquatic fragrance with lots of green notes and citruses and it dries down to a similar fragrance called Chanel Allure. It even gives you that creaminess effect. Not too many fragrances that can do that. It also kind of smells like that Versace Purum signature, the old school one. I kind of like this better. I've worn wearing it today. It couldn't beat out extreme heat like in southern Texas. Are you from southern Texas? In the hot, hot summer, you're getting 98, 100 degrees. You would have to reapply after three hours. But if you are in just a regular climate, like uh, springtime, you could probably last seven hours with this fragrance. So there's a great fragrance that smells expensive. And you wanna know a similar scent that's half the price of this? Find this one that I haven't talked about. It's called Rue Broca Pride. The intense version, it's like 20 bucks. It smells like Chanel Allure Homme Blanche Edition if you backtrack the notes. But then when it dries down, it smells just like Chanel Allure Homme. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Peace and love. Watch these if you like this sort of stuff.